Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the President of the United States, Mr. President. The night a few hours ago, there has been an attack in the U.S. Embassy in Pakistan. At Commander in Chief, I executed an airstrike on Syria. The silent attack crisis may be an issue that has happened before. In 2013, President Obama had to look on this issue on the chemical attack, which killed men women, and children. Russia took the chemical weapons out of Syria. The crisis today, the Joint Chiefs of Staff might have an answer that this may be an Al-Qaeda attack by Syria. I am trying to make solutions on this situation. From now on, the land of Syria Syrian and Russian President Bashar al-Assad and Putin agreed to mix chemical and nuclear weapons with the Korean government. The purpose on this problem, I sent four Navy ships to investigate on what's going on on between two nations. The question is whether we want our children have to do with this situation. No. Our families and the American people must understand that we are trying our best to figure out on this problem. And we're trying to avoid a world war between a nation. As President of the United States, I will stop, I will prevent and avoid the crisis right now. I can have facts on basic issues on the, the Great Depression. A few weeks ago, the United States declared war against North Korea. We, are, we were frustrated. We were tired. During the, during the Korean War, as Commander-in-Chief, I ended the war fast. The American people were proud of the President. Our people knew that their leader will maintain the power that he has in his hands. Of integrity, of justice, do we want another war? No, because it will ruin the American economy. In the United States of democracy, we can endure more peace. Today, I'm demanding Syria and Russia to end this crisis because we cannot let afford many wars the military is ready to fight for our country. I grew up being a leader to everyone when I was younger. I was a leader because I want because I love my country. Because the American people wanted a leader. George Washington was a powerful leader when he took office. Today, I was a powerful leader. President Obama was a powerful leader. President Ronald Reagan was a powerful leader. And today, I am a powerful leader right here, right now. Standing on this podium right here, right now. The American people must know that no matter what happens, America will succeed with a better future. And so now Congress wants to wait and make a decision to vote on declaration of war. I said no. I asked Congress to stay out of the situation. I want to address to the American people that we will get out of the situation with peace, with no violence. Responsibility, integrity, with strong, powerful love. Soon, Syria will make a decision to draw all commercial and nuclear weapons. We will make choices. We will make great 
situation as American. Thank you. God bless you. God bless the United States of America.